This is how my desktop looks on my Mac. I really like customization and Mac OS doesn't have too many options, but I did find a lot of application that it will help me a little bit show a little bit of life out of my desktop. So if you like what you see, then wait until the end and I will show you guys how to make it. The first app we're going to talk about is called Dynamic Lake Pro and this app is really amazing. This app is literally this one and how you can see you have on the new Max you have a notch which Apple decided not to do nothing with it. But if you go on the notch right now, how you can see I can put my music or if I right click I can see some stats or if I want my calendar events. Now the good thing about this application is that you have here settings. And this one, it will show a lot, a lot of features. For example, you can, you know, customize it how you want, you know, hide the notch and everything. But you have music, glance, and connect. Now, with connect is when you connect a new device, you know how the iPhone shows uh, that a new AirPods is connected and stuff like that in the notch? Well, it will do the same thing on your laptop. Now, dynamic glance is where, you know, all the weather and stuff like this. So you customize it, what you want to show here and stuff like this. The music one is the one that I love the most and I'm going to show you guys what I mean. But yeah, this application is amazing. The main reason why I love it is because every single time when I receive a notification, for example, or a message, right? I can just go here and how you can see I already got it here and I can literally reply from here. And that's it. You can do all of those things, beautiful things with it here. Now, another thing that I love is that if I open a music application, you know, YouTube Music, Spotify or a website, I'm going to use the website only because this is where I pay for my music so I don't get copyrighted. And if I go to put some music here, how you can see my music is right here and I can literally connect uh, control, sorry, every single device, every single thing from here. The other thing that I love is the volume also change here on the notch. This application is really, really amazing. And I have to admit, you know, it gives a lot of functionality, which I don't understand why Apple didn't thought about this one, but I have to admit this application really, really good. Now, if you want this application, if you search for dynamic, here you go, dynamicclick.com. You can get it here. This application is, I think it's $15. Yeah, $15.90, but it's really, really worth it, especially for the functionality that you're getting and things like this. And it makes the computer look 10 times better than it actually is. I mean, the simple thing, I can just put my mouse here and then I can get the stats or the calendar event and everything. Or I can simply just control, left click on it and control my music from here it's perfect for me at least it's perfect so if you want to check it out i'll leave the link in the description and you can go and purchase it from there now the other application actually have a folder here the other application is called color widget and what this is is literally widgets now and most of the things going to be widgets except for the light bulb paper here so if you go here edit widgets you go to color widgets here and then you can add what kind of what size if you want sorry but when you go to open this application here you will have multiple icons widgets screensavers if you're a fan of screensaver for example just like a simple watch over here you can put it on the screensaver and that'll be perfect for you i normally use the widget thing and i use the free trial version i'm not paying for this one because i only will use one widget but it's up to you and how you can see this one you have the clock with the battery and things like this you have a lot of widgets that you can use and you can put it there for free and it's really really nice i really like the application it gives a personality to the to the mac now the next one i'm going to you to talk about is this one and this one is kind of a little bit it's paid as well but it's kind of you know still good without you paying it with getter and what this thing is does is the same thing. You have widgets and you can add what kind of widgets you want to. The thing that I love the most about this one is you can actually add stats. So how you can see I have here my CPU, it's 24% and my memory RAM is 56%. I can see all of these ones on my desktop without checking nothing, you know. I have this one, good morning here, which is this one is from color widget as well. Uh, you know, a clock, a clock, sorry, a calendar here, my music, if it's playing or nothing, my battery here, sunset and the storage that I have. And here is just two simple widgets that I have from, from Apple. But I have to admit, this is how I at least try to customize my, my uh, uh, Mac OS. Now, the next one is called Dynamic Wallpaper. I actually featured this application before in uh, another video and I actually love it. 
The reason is that you can literally, you can either put whatever video you want here, or they have their own workspace here, and you can download what animation you want for free, and then you will just become as a animated wallpaper. For example, this one, if I click on it, I click preview first, so I can see how it is the animation. And if I do like it, this one is just a simple animation, but if I do like it, you know, I just click download from here. You will wait for download and then it will appear in the download section here. And then I will just set it as the wallpaper and how you can see now I have a different wallpaper, animated wallpaper on my uh, computer. Now, another application that I use a lot is color folder. So what this is, this is simple, a simple folder. What you do, you create a new folder. Let's call this one test. I hate it when it does like this. Test. And now you select a different color, whatever color you want, and just, you just drag and drop the folder here. And you allow this application, please give five, no. And how you can see, my folder is now green and this is how I have here. This is, I have it as a red. This is where I keep all the sound effects and things like this that I'm going to use for my editing in YouTube videos. So this kind of helps me, you know, see what folder is for what. Giving me a different color on it helps me a lot. So I do really, really love this application. I don't know why I opened Safari. Now another one, it's image to icon. And this is simply what it does. It takes an image and makes it as an icon. Now you can make the folder, for example, you just put a random image, a Google image if you want to, and just make it here. And this is the same thing. You just drag and drop it, drag the image, and then you will make it as an icon and you can put it as a folder. It's really, really good. And you know, it's up to you if you wanna use it. I'm not a big fan of it, but you know, uh, if you wanna use it for, for some things, Yes. Now, another one that I love is this one, Unleash Wallpaper. And this one actually, again, uh, showed it in a different video. Now, what this is, and I actually have it running here somewhere, is this one. Now, what this is, is it will change the wallpaper for you automatically. You like this one, you just set, kaboom. And this is all you have to do. You have an icon here, you just randomly click, and you click set. And that's it. And you will get a new wallpaper for you to actually try and use and see which one you want. And this is kind of what you can do in macOS. The problem that macOS has, you don't have a lot of freedom like the iPhone. You know, you got locker widgets here, which is kind of the same thing that the other widget is not a lot, another widget, but you have birthday that is left, you know, data usage and things like this. So you can put as a wallpaper, as a widget. The thing is that the my top application at the moment is has to be the uh, this one dynamic lake pro which i really love and this one dynamic wallpaper which again i really love because i have animation on my screen and none of them are eating battery this is the best thing none of them are eating battery now for example if i download here for example i'll just go not youtube i'll just go on a bit here when i got my music and i will just download the song right this is what it will happen because the moment that the song starts playing allow how you can see because the first time when i open apple music with it i have to confirm it but how you can see again the music is playing everything is playing and it will do the same thing if you're watching a youtube video so for example let me call well let me close apple and let me just go to one of my videos here. And I'll just click on this one. And how you can see, I have here again, I can just control it. If you're listening to music on YouTube and things like this, you can just control it. I really love this, this widget. So yeah, this is how I customize my Mac OS. I do hope you like it. If you do like it, please don't forget to like and subscribe. It really helps me out. I'll put the links in the description on every single application that I talk about in this video. And I'll see you guys in the next one.